Alrighty, so this is going to be every single change that's happening in the midseason 13.10 update. So let's begin. <laughs> Alright, so action. Dirty fighting. Damage now scales with 60% AP. Avenger rank movement speed. Now scales with 5% per 100 AP. And then Callista, this is some interesting stuff that's happening for Gunzu's Rage Blade. Damage now scales with 40% AP for the first hit and 20% for the next spears. So maybe you could play actually AP Callista for fun. Slow now scales with 5% per 100 AP. Pretty broken. We'll see how it, bro how it works. Wolf's Frenzy damage now scales with 20 AP. I don't think it's that much damage, but it could be. Uh, I don't know think people are going to be building Gunzu's on uh, Kindred, but maybe so now scales with five percent per 100 ap and this one's the biggest one because now a lot of vein players will probably be building gunsus and some ap there's only really gunsus but yeah obviously i have a wizard vein video that already came out and there are a bunch of items new items that are coming so new item chalice of blessing 200 health 25 percent mana regen gain 25 percent base health regen for every additional 25 percent base mana regen this builds into i think mikhail's echoes of helia and redemption that's pretty cool all right next item this one's going to be for even shroud zeke's and knight's vow 150 health 20 armor 100 base health regen next up is going to be echoes of helia this item is going to be your athene's unholy grail 30 ability power 200 health athena ability haste 125 percent base mana regen which is important just so you guys know damaging champion grants a soul shard up to a maximum of two healing or shielding an ally consumes all soul shards and restores 40 to 120 health and deals 40 to 210 magic damage for sure to nearest enemy champion so just think i already did a list of like champions in my head for khan maybe uh sona it's gonna be interesting oriana might be doing the new old build karma mid right karma mid seraphine might be insanely broken with having this is 2300 2, gold for a, a mythic item by the way so just just remember that's 2300 gold that's very cheap. You might see a lot of busted mid laners and supports. Guys, this is season seven or eight. Whenever Kogma was meta, Athene's Holy Grail meta is coming back. Yeah, it's kind of broken. All right, so Yomu's Ghostblade. The reason I have this thing up there is because I'm going to be comparing stats. So if we go to Yomu's Ghostblade right here, you can see this is now giving five more damage, five more ability haste, and a totally different active, or actually the same active, um, just a little change with a new passive. So when you uh, activate this, you generate stacks two times faster, gain up to 100 spectral shards while moving, maybe like Dead Man's Plate, gain up to 50% or 50 movement speed out of champion combat based on the number of spectral shards. Well, max shards gain 10 to 20 lethality, I'm guessing based on uh, shards you have. I, I wasn't thinking levels, but shards will reset four seconds after dealing damage to an enemy champion. So let's think hecarim broken with this i'm gonna assume why would you go eclipse when you go this item right grants all legendary items eight attack damage i'm gonna be uh ranting about the infinity edge change because it makes no sense but anyways eight damage does feel pretty pretty good actually so this one costs three thousand this one costs three thousand a hundred so there you go rework dust blade let's go check it out as you can see the comparison same stats totally different passive right so no more of that 99% slow and additional damage. Abilities deal up to an additional 15% damage based on the target's missing health. So it could execute. When a champion that you have damaged within the last three seconds dies, you become untargetable from non structures for 1.5 seconds. So I did test this on, on the PPE. It's uh it kind of it's kind of a nerf because you used to be able to go invisible and now you're just untargetable. Well, you can still see them. You just can't use any Q. I think you can still use any W though, any Tibbers, you know what I mean? So in my opinion, sort of a nerf because you don't also get the additional damage plus the slow, but uh, it's, it's you know, it, it's probably still good in some ways. I'm not too sure. Probably kind of a slight nerf. I don't think the damage is going to be that much, but it could be. I mean, <laughs> if they're really low hit point, they're probably just dead, if that makes sense. Prowler's Claw. This is now a legendary, right? This is legendary. Five less damage, three less of lethality, and five less ability haste. Cost did go down by 100. But you can see right here is the Dustblade passive right here. You do like 85 damage if you're melee, 35% bonus if dealt by melee champion. The enemy is also slowed for 0.5 seconds. I think Dustblade was the same amount of seconds, right? Uh, not Maybe it's 0.5 or one second. It was around there. Either way, getting rid of that dash ability yeah they kind of moved it to the dust plate it's kind of weird but also remember that's missing health it's not it's not 15 increased damage so 
I mean, this is just a legendary, right? So it might be really good, honestly. This legendary item might, might be better than this one. Uh, I think uh, you just go Yomu's and Eclipse, honestly, in this meta. I don't really see why you'd go Dustblade anymore. Maybe. We'll see. Rageblade, insane rework. This is an insane rework, right? I mean, this is totally different, but I'll just keep it up. 30 damage, 30 ability power, 25% attack speed, attack supply 30, magic damage on hit. Your critical chance is converted up to 200 more. Basic attacks grant 8% attack speed, stacking up to a maximum of 4 stacks. And while you're fully stacked, every third attack applies your on-hit effects twice. This is... And also, this is insane. This legendary passive is broken, by the way. It's better than Divine Sunderer. I mean, heck, if we go to Divine Sunderer, I think it's only 3%. This is 5% armor penetration and 6% magic penetration. I had 5 mythic items. Sorry, legendary items. I had 30% armor penetration. Super broken item. They're probably going to turn it down, but it's super broken right now. You just think of any hybrid champ. That's what I'm doing, giving all those champions AP ratios. Kale, Kogma. I mean, Twitch, Twitch. I'm just saying, really broken item. I really hope they tune this down. That's going to be tuned down. This is the weird one, by the way. I don't understand what they're doing here. This is 3,400 gold. I mean, you just look at Gunzu's. It's exactly the same as before. You just get five attack damage per legendary. I don't know what they're smoking, but uh, please buff Infinity Edge. It looks like garbage. If it's a mythic like this, I don't see why you'd go a champion who builds Infinity Edge anymore. So yeah, it's kind of garbage. And Navori, I think they need to buff this, to be honest, if it's going to be a mythic. I'm just trying to find it right here. Yeah, it's... uh exactly the same you just have a new another mythic passive so all right static shiv static shiv is coming back check it out 45 attack damage 25 attack speed 20 crit chance and energized you know an energized attack 60 to 170 magic damage increased to 120 to 30 340 against minions it's 6 to 12 targets and it has an ap ratio that's why it's very weird um that they're having ap ratios giving you a lot of mixed damage to 80 carries and they want that mixed damage to come back the feral flare meta you guys know what i mean right so shield bow it is now a legendary, 50 attack damage, 20 crit chance, no more attack speed, 7% life steal, and the shield might be around the same. I actually don't remember. Oh yeah, yeah. now you get attack speed instead of getting attack damage. Overall, it's also cheaper, so it's kind of a nerf, but it's also cheaper. So, and it's a legendary. It's kind of good, I think. I'd rather have this as a legendary if I'm an AD carry main than a mythic, so kind of broken compared with and you can now have bloodthirster with it too so i mean you always could but like <laughs> they're both legendaries anyways scale force kind of got a little rework you guys can see it five less damage five le uh five percent less attack speed but you get seven percent movement speed and also the active now does physical damage a lot of physical damage and apparently it scales the crit too as you can see right there um and deals more damage to low low health targets but you only get five attack damage uh, this one used to give movement speed off the mythic passive. I think it's kind of a... I don't. I can't tell. It does physical damage. Maybe it's a buff. But uh, some AD carries don't even build armor penetration until later. So I'm not too sure. Maybe it's good on Yasuo. <laughs> I, I'm not sure what's going on. But okay. Kraken Slayer is now a legendary. This is uh, pretty insane, by the way. Um, so also, I did not mention that Gale Force was probably the same amount to go. Yeah. Gale Force Kraken Slayer, four hundred dollars cheaper, um, twenty five less AD, five percent more attack speed, and then I'm pretty sure the bring it down. Well, it used to do true damage, now it does magic damage. Yeah, and gets a lot, right? Also, additional triggers on the same target within six seconds increases its damage by five percent, fifty percent. My bad. So it's kind of a ramping cog. Oh my god, cogma is gonna be kind of broken with this. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, but I do think maybe this Kraken Slayer, the mythic, was actually better than what we see here, obviously, right? So it's kind of a nerf. Rapid fire changes. They added 30 attack damage, 20% less attack speed, and mm, yeah, that, I think that's it. <laughs> Which is interesting. Uh, this costed 2,500 gold. Now this costs 3,000 gold. A little bit more expensive. Not sure if people want to get it or not, but it's pretty interesting. Storm Razor is getting a difference. 10 less attack damage. Oh yeah, your energized attacks applies most bonus magic damage and grants 45% movement speed for one second. So it's, I guess it's good for kiting and chasing. I don't know if people will buy this though. Uh, it costs 300 more gold. It's kind of really weird utility, but uh, I mean, it's there. I don't know who's going to buy it, right? No one bought this item. 
uh, back then. Maybe a vein top. There's like niche players who probably bought it, but I don't know who you'd buy it on. Lord Dominix now does bonus physical and magic damage. So, ha ha ha. Kogma. Here comes Kogma. Here comes K. I mean, I don't know who's going to build this, but they're going to be a buff if they do magic. Oh, Kaisa. Ka oh my god. Kaisa. Varus. It's so broken. Oh, sorry. No, sorry. This is exactly the same. It's just got a major buff, I guess, right? Um, legendary mandate. Um, the legendary mandate. So if we go over here, 10 more AP, costs 200 less, but no hit point. And then I think it did get a nerf on the magic damage. It used to do like 45 to 85 or 95. And then the second part also did like 80 to 190 or something like that. Um, it still gives you movement speed. It's also a lot cheaper. It's pretty cheap and it's a legendary. So you can combine it with the new Ellen of Echoes or whatever it's called. It's pretty cool. This is a uh, pretty poop. Uh, okay, let's see. 50 more health, 10 more MR. But uh, while at 10 stacks of Ted Fast, gain 30 magic just and 10% more movement speed. I mean, this one used to give like 15% reduced magic damage and movement speed. So who the hell is going to buy this anymore? It's a pretty big nerf. Let's get rid of that. Next up, point to be. All right, so Moonstone Renewer, five less AP. Oh, I guess that's it. And then, is you uh, percent healing or shielding of the original mount. Um, but there's no timer on it, which is uh, pretty interesting, right? This used to be in combat, but now it's not. So I think it might be a buff. Uh, we'll just have to see, because you can see it says percent, not an amount. Um, and then it says grants all other legendary items increase to start grace's heal this one just says ability haste so i'm not sure if it's a buff or not but we'll see all right so this is going to be rating virtue 50 less health costs 500 less gold and 10 ability haste left but the mythic passive actually got nerfed by 25 health and you can see same passive i think let me just double check no actually it's a little bit nerfed it's actually it used to be 15 percent maximum health and while transited, this heals you for 10% of your maximum health over the duration. Um, and the last one was 3%, but times it by 3. So it's kind of a buff. Might be really good for supports you want to engage. So I'd say it's a huge buff because it uh, it's it costs a lot cheaper. It's like 500 gold less cheaper. That's pretty nice. That's uh, Yeah, that's pretty nice. Okay. All right, Bloodthirster changes. So basically 3% more. Lifesteal, but that big shield that you used to get now gone and you only get 10 to 40 attack damage. I'm guessing based off uh, level. Wait, it says uh, well above 50% health. Huh, that's, a, that's interesting. So I think it's an overall probably nerf because you can just get healing reduction. So this, uh, this sucks. <laughs> Maybe it's not an ideal item to go. The collector. All right, guys, this just got six more lethality. That's a lot. Okay, this is guys, this is just a free buff. I mean, this is kind of broken on some champions who would build crit and lethality. I'm just saying, watch out for those champions. Draven's coming your way. No, Neela's actually coming your way. That one's going to be kind of broken later. Abyssal Mask. Interesting stuff is happening. 250 health, less, no mana, 20 more MR, and curse enemy near champions. There's no catalyst in it, and it costs uh, 600 less gold um overall it's cheaper and it's a legendary item so maybe it's kind of a buff in some ways um not really too sure but probably cheap it's probably good i think pushing no catalyst but that sucks and then finally we have just little changes that are happening all over the place so staff of flowing water 15 less ap 25 percent less matter gen movement speed added rapids ap increased to 10 by uh, each level. Actually, this is really good. What the hell? 2,100 total item cost, um, I think. And if we go over here, Staff of Flowing Water. Oh, wow. It costs 200 less. It's cheaper. It's kind of OP. All right. Ardent. AP reduced by 15. Um, matter Gen reduced by 25. Movement Speed added for some reason. And gives you 5% more attack speed as well. Why do they keep adding more magic damage? This is broken as hell. They're just bringing back... Oh, they're just bringing back season seven, eight. Jesus Christ, Ardent meta, Kogma meta, Bane on hit meta, whoever on hit meta. I don't. Bye bye Zaya. Bye bye whoever crits. And of course, costs two hundred less gold. 
Chemtech Purifier. Five less AP, 25% less mana regen, shield heal power increase, and of course costs 200 less gold, but no mobility haste. Sure, let's go with it. All right, Knight's Vow, 50 less health. Health regen down by 75%. Who cares about health regen? They added armor and it costs 100 less gold. Oh, and sorry, they took out the ability haste. This convergence, 10 less armor, 100 less health. Wait, sorry. 10 less armor, 100 more health, no more mana. Health regen added, costs 200 less. Also, no ability haste. Mikhail's Blessing, 1% um, less shielding healing power, but 25% more mana, which could be really good for those mages mid who build Athenes. Um, hit point increased by, I'm sorry, this never gave hit point back then. Uh, 250 health, ability haste removed, and I think there's no more magic resist on it. Yep, there's no more magic resist. Healing increased by 20, um, and then 60 at later levels. Added harmony, gained 25% base health for every, yeah, it's the old Chalice of Harmony. Oh my God, this is insane. The Recurve Bow, 10% less attack speed, and now it's magic damage on hit, but it costs 300 less gold. That's uh, pretty good, I think. I think that's a pretty good thing. Recurve Bow, 10% less attack speed, but now it does magic damage on hit and costs 300 less gold. Kind of a buff, pretty interesting stuff. We'll see. Purchase Shard, 15 AD, no more attack speed. Energized attacks will deal 60 magic damage and it costs about the same and builds on a longsword. This is really interesting. I'm not sure what's going on here. Runon's Hurricane, 5% less attack speed, but these attacks now apply 30 magic damage on hit for whatever reason. Uh, damage increased by 10%, the uh, the furry, you know, the bolts, but it costs 200 more gold. And it also still gives crit, by the way. I think it also still gives percent movement speed. I'm not sure about that one. I'll have to double check. Mercurial Scimitar, increased MR, yeah, collector buff, mortal reminder buff. Zeal nerf, 3% less attack speed. Wow, no more movement speed. Unlucky. Sorry, Yasuo mains who build Zeal. Sterax gauge now also gains 25% size. I like I like, looking, I like this. 30% tenacity for 8 seconds. Mythic bonus hit point increase 50 to 75 for Gore Drinker. Stridebreaker getting 10 more AD. Holebreaker getting 10 more AD. I think they're just buffing everything. 5% movement speed. Uh, Maw reduced to by 100 gold. Duration down by 2.5 seconds. Ooh, okay. Quota increased by 10, 25 seconds. Honestly, it'd be a giga. It could be kind of a nerf. This is a uh, kind of big, this duration thing, but we'll see. Trinity Force buffs, five more damage, 5% per, uh, per more attack speed. Divine Sunder, this was the big one I was actually trying to check. And actually, they just literally put it right here. So more base AD damage, but less percent maximum hit point damage. So it's, uh, it's better against squishies, but worse against tank. And then there's the force of nature changes and then Phantom Dancer changes 5% less attack speed. Or sorry, Phantom Dancer changes 5% more attack speed. Oh yeah, this is kind of the same. Very small change. And finally, some uh, system changes. Minions, except for the first spawn of minions, mid lane minions will meet at the same time as side lanes. Side lanes, minions sped up. This is weird. <laughs> I don't know if this will change anything, but this is weird. Minions that have targeted an enemy tower will ignore call for help signals to target enemy champions. That is interesting. I don't know if that will change a lot of things, but does that mean when I harass an enemy under my own turret, I won't get targeted by the by the minions? That that could change a lot of trades and how people interact with the enemy. That might be cool. Okay, upgrade time. Oh, instead of 14 minutes, it's now 10 minutes. Huge buff coming to teleport. Plate rush down resistances. 20 seconds after taking a plate is uh, now 0 to 180. It's a number of champions. Increase the 45 to 225. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Big, uh, sorry, platers. No more plates. Normal, normal home guard start time 20 to 14 minutes. And mana regen at the fountain has been increased by 1%, which is kind of nice for the people waiting on that mana. I've actually had that so happen to me so many times. Jungle plants, blast cone, uh, initial respawn. Oh, wow. Was this always 5 to 5.30? I know which one they're talking about. It's the one where you can gank bot lane with or top lane with. 
uh, in the river. Whoa, it's it's not spawning till nine seconds. That was an easy gank for those junglers. And also, I remember it always spawned at 530. I didn't know it was, it was random between five minutes to 530. That's pretty interesting. I always thought it was 530. But anyways, guys, overall, I just read everything. And this item, I mean, anything that does on hit or hybrid is going to be completely broken. Why the hell would you ever build an Infinity Edge next next patch? And Dustblade, honestly, just reading the Dustblade, it kind of sucks and if you're a support be happy because you might be going mid lane and dominating getting rank one that's all my thoughts though i really think there's gonna be some fine tuning because this shit looks broken it's gonna be fun i don't give a shit this is gonna be some fun patches and a lot of content for me thank you for watching i'll see you guys next time peace out oh rage wave jacks oh fuck we're dead no 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 we're done <laughs> Ready to play Jack's gonna be broken. So many videos we'll have to do.